Hello my dear friends, we are on the fourth day of our Novena to St. Joseph and today I would like to share the theme namely St. Joseph the protector of the church which we find in the litany. My dear friends, we are always praying one special intention though we have our own intentions we have this special intention for each day and based on that we pray our prayer to St. Joseph and the Novena. And today I said that protector of the church means, my dear friend, church is not merely the building, but it is the people together. And the house is not just a house, it's a home made of people. And therefore, each one should feel the responsibility to take care and to hold the church together. And therefore, when we say St. Joseph is the protector of the church, you and I as the members of the church, have the responsibility to care for the church and therefore it is our bound duty to pray for the church and for its own safety in these modern times and especially when we see that St. Joseph is the special patron and protector of the church we need to use his channel to receive lot of grace because from the church we get lot of graces for our own spiritual life and therefore my dear friends it is our bound duty during the holy mass also we always pray for the church for our leaders of the church so also today as we meditate on the novena to saint joseph on this theme let us focus on praying for the church yes my dear friends the people who are persecuted for the sake of faith and many reasons you would see in your own parishes what are the needs that you feel so based on that please do intercede through St. Joseph so that our prayers would be very pleasing to God and through the intercession of St. Joseph believe that you would obtain what you ask for and therefore when you pray today the prayer to St. Joseph and the Novena let us include this prayer namely praying for the church as St. Joseph is the protector of the church. Glory to Jesus. Ave Maria.